Let's look at some of the cheapest places you can stay in Guatemala City. Prices for this starts at $11 per night. The shared accommodation. This is the open plan dining living area. The outdoor garden. Spacious bedroom. I like. The desk area where you can use your laptop. The chair don't look that comfy though. The bathroom looks nice. Shower looks pretty good actually. The kitchen is very spacious. One person per night, that's $11. And for two people, it's $19, which works out to be $9.50 per person. I think that's a good price. This is only for one guest, and it's $11 per night. You get a single bed, and there's a television you could watch while you're in bed. I guess you could hang some of your clothes there and have coffee in the morning. The toilet, the shower. If you want, you could rest in this. You do get a private attached bathroom. So for $11 per night, that could be okay. Let's look at some of the more expensive places. And for $50 per night, you could stay here. It looks very nice. I like. This is the bedroom. No bath, but it does have a shower. I guess this is the area where you're going to sit to eat. This is the view that you could see. You get the whole place to yourself for $50 per night. And for two people, that's $25 per night. And that seems okay. It seems nice. This apartment starts from $28 per night. It seems very cramped. Open plan, but there's a separate room for a bedroom. This is the second bedroom. And it don't seem that spacious. I think this is for kids and not adults. This is for adults. It is close to the airport, about 10 minutes away, so that's a bonus point. This place starts from $45 per night. And you can get the whole place to yourself. And you get a nice living room. The kitchen seems nice. There's enough worktop space. This is one of the main bedrooms, which I think is nice. The main bedroom has a walk-in closet. This is the second bedroom. And this bedroom has a desk. This is the third bedroom. No desk, but there is a television. This is the bathroom with a shower. And this room just has a toilet. This is the dining area section. Yeah, it's okay. It's nice. This is the space where you can work. The price for one, two, three, or four people is $45 per night. This seems to be a very nice place. If I was going to go to Guatemala for a week or two or even longer, then I might want to choose this property. Let's look at some of the most expensive places. This place starts from $116 per night. And the apartment seems to be open planned. It seems spacious. Yeah, I like. The dining area is there and kitchen is there two single beds which could be put together maybe a very spacious bedroom with a nice size bed this is the second living area which maybe could be used as a bedroom i guess this is the third bedroom which has a double bed and it might be en suite the kitchen seems okay i like the bathroom seems nice but there's no bath just a shower from this angle yeah it looks nice but i think the other property is just as nice this might be in a more prime location. I don't know. It seems like you might get access to a gym. The price stays the same for one to six people. This is a nice property. You get the entire apartment to yourself. This property starts from $160 per night. This is one of the bedrooms. And this is the main bedroom. An outdoor area. This is the third bedroom. It does seem kind of cramped though. Fourth bedroom don't seem that spacious as well. The living area is a decent size. The bathroom, which could have a shower and a bath top, I'm not too sure. This bathroom definitely has a shower and a bath. This is the price per person per night. This place is $145 per night, and it is for six guests. Open plan living. The kitchen looks nice. Seems like you might have some outdoor space. A bed which seems like it takes up most of the room. Bathroom with a bathtub. These bedrooms seem kind of small. This bedroom seems slightly bigger. Bathroom with a shower. It seems like you get access to a gym. A shared laundry room. This is what the place is per night per person. The property is okay. For $129 per night, you could get this entire home. And it's for 10 guests. This is the living area. You know, it's nice. We have a bedroom which don't really seem that much private. We see the bathroom but not too much of it. This is a decent sized kitchen. It seems like there are bunk beds. 
at least two bunk beds. I think this might be the second room with two more bunk beds. Those chairs don't look too comfy. This is the price per person per night. For 10 people, it can go as low as about $13 per night. So if you're going to go with nine other people, this could be a decent place to stay.